Hey, welcome back to the Life of Freedom YouTube channel. My name is Salvador Brigman, and today we're talking about how do you upload a podcast to iTunes so that it looks like this. People can go and they can browse through and they can actually, on their app, on the on their phone, they can discover your podcast, they can listen to it on iTunes, or if you want to, they can also listen to it on Spotify, Stitcher, and some of these other applications. How do you do that? We're answering that question here today. Okay, so again, my name is Salvador Brigman, and um, on this show, we talk about, number one, how to create an online business, we talk about spirituality, we talk about a lot of different things, but the main crux is how do you live a life of freedom, and how do you sort of unlock that? And for me, podcasting has been incredible and phenomenal as a way um, to connect with customers, to connect with listeners, to develop a base of raving fans. I mean, even looking here at my podcast, um, we have over 200 positive reviews in iTunes, we have more than 200 also episodes that I published on iTunes. This is my long-standing podcast I started in 2015. I also have started this new show called Life of Freedom, which is going to be both based around spiritual development, consciousness, um, and really kind of understanding the place of spirituality in your life and also bring on some really successful spiritual teachers to help um, sort of share and spread that knowledge. So I'm going to show you how to upload your podcast in iTunes. In order to do that, we got to go and look at these different steps. In order to submit your podcast to iTunes, there are two things you need. Number one, you need a thumbnail. Number two, you need an RSS feed. Now, I'm gonna get into what the RSS feed is in just a second, but first, let's talk about the thumbnail. The thumbnail is this thing that people are seeing, basically, when they come across your podcast. You can also see some of the other suggested podcasts here that people could click on. So the thumbnail is really important because it's the first impression that you have on someone who's coming to your page, um, the, or coming to your podcast, rather. In order to get a thumbnail like this, one that looks nice, um, one that has you know really good branding, you know, I have a cool little branding thing here and also is the appropriate size for the iTunes thumbnail which is 1600 by 1600 you're going to either need to create this yourself which I don't recommend I recommend instead using a service to do this now before I get talk about services everyone's like okay Sal service that sounds like money you know I don't want to spend money I want a low budget solution how much do you think I spent on this actual artwork well you know, actually, I'd love it if you could leave it in the comments down below. I spent $7 to get this thing made. $7. That's nothing. That's literally like two cups of coffee, basically, nowadays, if you're getting an iced coffee and it's summertime, you know. So in order to do this, what I did was I actually went on Fiverr, and I browsed through some of the different uh, sellers here on Fiverr, and I found one that offered podcast uh, artwork. This is five bucks. They literally are offering this service for five bucks. So create your artwork. I got this artwork made for five dollars, and then I upgraded the tier to seven dollars so I could get um, another download basically and get some more of the raw um, PD uh, Photoshop files for that. So I pretty much just spent five dollars to get this made. You can go on Fiverr if you've never done this before, you never used this service before. They're very reputable. You can go and you can look at some of the other sellers. So like they're saying, I will design a minimalistic podcast logo or cover for five bucks I design a cover art for fifteen dollars you can go and look at also the reviews of some of these five or sellers and you can see um, what other people have said about their work also if you want to use them for other stuff like you want a spokesperson for someone in your video you can get that for five bucks if you want more complex stuff maybe like a whiteboard explainer it might cost you like 50 bucks or something like that um, so like an example here, I will create a custom engaging whiteboard explainer for you. That one is $75. Fiverr is an incredible tool. If you are new as an entrepreneur, you've never hired someone before in your life. You've never bought an online service. You never spent money on your business. Fiverr is an incredible way to get started because you're not spending a tremendous amount of money. And also, you can also see all of the different reviews of people. So an example of another um, way that I'm using Fiverr, I don't use it very much for like sophisticated things. Usually I'm hiring people from Upwork, which is a freelancing service where I will hire people to edit my videos or hire them to edit my podcast, these different things. Um, I use Fiverr more so for like quick um, things, usually more graphic design related. So I'm using them to create some swag for myself for the Life of Freedom channel. 
I wanted to create some swag for the Life of Freedom channel because I think it's kind of a lifestyle of trying to live with more freedom in your life, both from uh, a spiritual connection to you know, the universe or connection to yourself or higher consciousness kind of standpoint, but also from freeing yourself from having to work for a boss. Um, that's my whole goal here is to show you how to do that using things like online business in order to have your own type of lifestyle that you want. So I'm creating swag here. Um, this one, I also created another example of a Life of Freedom kind of hat that I might be putting out. If if you're interested in using Fiverr, um, you can go to here and I'll include a link down below, below in the description of this YouTube video. And if you're interested, you can join and we'll both get up to $100 when you actually invest in one of these services on Fiverr, it's, it's again, not a lot of money. Um, so if you're interested, you can check out the link down below. I'll include a link to Fiverr and you can learn a little bit more about that service. And if you want to, you can, you can create your actual iTunes artwork there. So once you have your iTunes artwork or thumbnail, as I like to call it, you then need the RSS feed. The RSS feed is a little bit complicated, so stay with me here while I'm explaining this. I know it's not the most um, sexy thing out there, but um, listen, because this is actually really important. Okay, first of all, iTunes does not host your podcast. They are not hosting these media files. When you come here and you listen to the first episode, How to Have a Spiritual Awakening and Raise Your Consciousness, um, this episode is not hosted on iTunes. Instead, it's hosted on another um, website that basically just provides iTunes the RSS feed. Think about it. If iTunes was to host every single person's podcast, that would be a lot of storage, and they don't want to be in the storage business in that way. So all they do is they ask for an RSS feed. That RSS feed will give them information like what is the title of your podcast, um, what is the name of this particular episode. When they click this, it's going to play based off the storage on another website. Where are they going to get this text and information? This all comes from the RSS feed. So the number one thing you need to host a podcast on iTunes is an RSS feed. Now, you don't have to, I'll show you a few different ways actually that you can you can host this. So this is my website, podcastinghacks.com. Podcasting Hacks is a website that I started when I started getting into podcasting. I've written a book, Podcasting for Beginners. I also have um, some other work out there on podcasting. So if you look here, there are a few different services that you can use to host a podcast. Number one is Libsyn. Libsyn is what I use to host my podcast because it's pretty easy to get started. And I'll show you also what the functionality looks like. You can also use Podbean. You can use Buzzsprout, you can use um, Blueberry, you can use SoundCloud. Um, there are a lot of different podcasting hosts out there. I recommend Libsyn just because it's easy for me. Buzzsprout, I think, is also a pretty good solution. You can also look into SoundCloud if you want to be a part of the SoundCloud community there. Let's talk a little bit about Libsyn because that is what I use and what I find to be pretty easy and it's been very reliable for me. When you go to Libsyn, you're going to be able to um, browse through a few different pricing plans basically on their website. It starts at five bucks per month. Five bucks per month definitely does not break the bank. That is literally the cup of like an iced coffee in Starbucks in Manhattan, you know, because Manhattan is ridiculously expensive and it sucks. <laughs> but other other tiers here, you have the fifteen dollar tier. You have the $20 tier. My my podcast is on the $20 tier because I want to publish it at least once per week. And in order to do that, you need some good monthly storage. Um, if you're just getting started now, and maybe you're looking to put out one podcast per month, you could probably get started on the $5 tier there. So you're first going to have to create an account on Libsyn. But once you do that, you can then get access to the Libsyn dashboard. On the Libsyn dashboard, you're going to have a few different things that you can do. So first of all, you can create a new episode, you can upload your podcast, you can also schedule them to go out in the future. You'll also get some basic statistics. I literally just created this podcast, like there, there aren't any um, download statistics yet for the show. But basically, the, the number one thing that's going to be most important is the RSS feed and also the settings that you have here. If you go into show settings, you can see what the show title is here. We can see also um, what the description is. This is what is populating the show title here and also the description. So if I customize those, um, that's also the, the tags and keyword, the public contact email, my um, YouTube channel address, and the image that I'm using for the artwork. So you're gonna wanna fill out that so that that way when it's synced up with your iTunes, you then will have this all automatically populated. The second thing here is the destinations for the show. So you can also look at some other things like monetization, storage, stats. For now, I'm just going to cover destinations. Um, destinations, this is where you're going to find that RSS feed. If we were to just click this here, this will take you to the RSS feed that iTunes is going to need. It looks like, you know, gobbledygook or gibberish. Um, this is just 
basically HTML coding. You know, I was a nerd. I did HTML when I was in middle school because I didn't have any, you know, I didn't have any friends and I was really nerdy. No, I actually had friends. But um, anyway, so the, the Libsyn classic feed, this is basically the RSS feed that you're going to need to submit to iTunes. You also get this podcast page with, and this is for free, that you get with Libsyn. It doesn't really look that great. I don't think, honestly, it's, it's just kind of like a page or like a website where people can go and they can just, they can watch your different or listen to your different episodes. This looks really bad in my opinion. This looks horrible. Um, I do not recommend having a website that looks like this. So I'll show you actually an easy way to set up a website and um, to have a really nice looking podcast page. So what you're going to want to do is you want to come here, you're going to copy this RSS feed. You're going to want to then log on to iTunes Connect. This is iTunes Connect. You're going to Google that if you want to, um, but basically you, you type in iTunes Connect into Google and that will bring up uh, the iTunes Connect login. So once you log in there, it's gonna look, you're gonna log in with basically your iTunes ID. You're gonna have different podcasts and podcast analytics. This is really the hub. This is where you manage your podcast from when it comes to iTunes. So I have this show here. I also had a fundraising podcast a while back, um, but I've been focusing more so on the crowdfunding demystified show. And I also now have the new Life of Freedom channel here. This is the URL that I plugged in this is what iTunes is using. And then also if I wanted to, I could view this in the iTunes store and I can go to the stats and all these different things. In order to create a new show, you would just go to my podcast, you would click create, and you just enter your RSS feed there. Once that show was validated, you'd be able to very easily create this podcast. And once it was approved, you would then be listed in iTunes and it'll probably take you maybe like 48 hours, um, maybe three days at most to list this in iTunes. All you need is that RSS feed. So we've done a few things here. We've got the thumbnail. We've been using Fiverr to create that. It didn't take any, it didn't take long. Um, use the RSS feed. We use Libsyn in order to get that RSS feed. And um, that is a paid service, of course. And then we just submitted that that to the iTunes Connect, uh, connect there and submitted the RSS. The last thing that we need in order to create a successful show on iTunes is we need a website because we don't want something looking like this. <laughs> this does not look good. Uh, to give you an example of what my website looks like, if we go to my, my main site, crowdcrux.com, this is the, for the Crowdfunding Demystified podcast, we come here to the last episode that I published, Kickstarter Fulfillment Tips for Board Games. We come here, this is going to load in just a second. Kickstarter Fulfillment Tips for Board Games. This is showing on iTunes episode number 256. We come here, um, we go to my sites. This is the site and people can listen to this. I, all I did in order to create this was I embedded the code from Libsyn um, for the podcast player. So people can click that if they want to, they can listen to it, they can fast forward, they can download it, they can embed it if they want, they can share it. Um, this is how you would in, you would basically get the podcast onto your website is you would just get the embed code from Libsyn for a particular episode. I have a content, let's see here, this, this episode here, if I wanted to embed this, we would say link and embed, we would decide if we want it to be this this custom kind of looking player. Do we want this kind of player? Do we want that kind of player? And we would just embed the code basically from that player into our website and it would then be able to play this on our website. The next thing I wanna show you really quickly, I know we're going over a lot in this video, is you now have the uh, the Libsyn in order to create the RSS feed, you have the thumbnail. Now let's talk a little bit about creating the website. So how did I create this website? crowdcrux.com that makes it look like this and it looks pretty professional. How also do I have this site, salvadorbrigman.com, where I'm going to be publishing more of these um, Life of Freedom podcast episodes and I'm going to be able to embed them into my blog post. How is it that I'm doing this and also setting up things like the, the podcasting hacks website? This is my salvadorbrigman.com. Last post I published was uh, talking about suffering, ways to avoid the autopilot brain. How am I doing this? It's very, very simple. So listen up. What I'm gonna do is down below, I'm going to link to an article on how to start a blog using Bluehost. Bluehost is what I use in order to host this website. And also WordPress is what you will use in order to create a nice looking website like this. 
Uh, there's an exclusive offer for my fans where they're actually charging instead of $7.99 per month, $2.95 per month in order to set up a website. That's again, that's not very much. Um, you have to put this in the context of starting a business. You know, this is obviously going to be the backbone of your business and where people can discover you. And you can also, if you want to, you can get a free domain name when you sign up with Bluehost. So what you're going to do basically is you're going to click the link down below below this video and you're going to click this and it's going to give you access to this special offer for fans of this channel and also of my blog crowd crux so you can get a free domain name you can get one click wordpress install you can install wordpress so you can get a fancy looking website like mine and you can also have 24 7 support and a 30-day money back guarantee my goal here is to make this number one as simple as possible for you and also to give you the best possible price and really eliminate downside. I find that when you're starting a new business, you're starting a new podcast, there's so much downside, like it's scary and it's risky. So I'm trying to give you a few different ways to de-risk this. So with Fiverr, you're getting a very cheap, but also quality artwork. Libsyn, very low cost. Um, this is only $3 per month, which again is like another cup of coffee. And you also get a 30 day money back guarantee and you get a free domain name and a website builder. You just gotta click get started and um, you can pretty much set up your website in I would say a matter of 30 minutes, if not sooner. So this is gonna be an offer that is exclusive only for my fans that I will link up down below and you then you can have a nice looking website like mine. Um, you can have one that looks like this and you can install a theme. It's really simple and really easy to get started. So I know that I talk a little bit quickly cause I'm trying to get through a lot of content and also um, this is a lot stuff i mean if you're new to podcasting this is a lot of stuff you might have to like rewatch sections of this video to, in order to get it but um i have set together or put together a step-by-step -step free course that shows you things like how do you actually have a really great sounding voice when you do start that podcast how do you actually grow the show um what are some of the strategies and techniques that i've used to actually grow my show over time from you know from nothing to now having more than 200 episodes um getting downloads very regularly you know thousand downloads per episode i'm um, getting more than 200 positive reviews and itunes how do you grow a show basically out of thin air this course will take you through how to start grow and monetize a podcast it is free to join you can learn a little bit there um, in terms of the actual equipment that you can use, the best microphone, as well as I think setting yourself up for an entirely different career change. If you're interested in shifting from a nine to five job to something that you're really excited and really passionate about, living that life of freedom and sort of detaching yourself, I would say, from the industrial cog that is working for a boss, you're basically a cog in a machine. You have absolutely no power. You have no assets. You're basically making someone else well Healthy, it makes completely no sense to me. If you want to live a life of freedom, you got to start your own business. You got to have your own online presence. And in that way, you're building an asset over time. If you look at my YouTube channel, you look at my podcast, my blogs, my books, these are all assets that I'm building over time. And this is what enables me to then number one, have passive income, but also to always be assured that no matter what happens, you know, if for some reason we go into a financial decline or something like that, I still have these different assets. I can put out more videos, I can put out more podcasts, I can get more um, free freelancing work or whatever it is, I will never have to return to the nine to five lifestyle because I've made this first step. It is so easy to, to start a podcast nowadays. Um, it's, it's insane. Like we're seeing so many also celebrities getting started with podcasting. We're seeing people who are authors getting started with podcasting. Um, Russell Brand, I saw now has a, a podcast out there. Like there, there are tons of different people out there that are launching podcasts. I think Snooki also has like a, a gossip show or something like that. Um, so it, it's really, I think the new way that is replaced Placing radio. You know, people used to listen to radio on the way to work. Now they can listen to a podcast via Bluetooth. Like so many of my listeners are listening to podcasts in their show or in the subway while they're going to work or at the gym or while they're running or even just doing dishes. Like podcasting is phenomenal as a way to build your brand to earn extra income and to one day make that your actual full-time job. And it isn't actually terribly difficult to get started. So I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. If you did, give me a thumbs up on this video. Come subscribe if you want more content like this and also check out all the links down below. Again, my name is Salvador Brigman and I will see you next time.